Welcome, welcome back. So, I have plans, plans to do a video to uh, update our lighting on the vehicle. Well, ran into a little bit of a problem. Started working on it, started getting everything going. Went to go move the car and we got a crank but no start. Mm, that's not good. So, I had to stop the project I was working on. I didn't record anything because when you come across an unexpected project, you really aren't thinking about filming. So I didn't get to post yesterday. Didn't get to post a video. Didn't get to do anything, but uh, the car's running good now. So we got it all figured out. Um, yeah, getting the car a little washed just because it was dirty. So, when you have a crank, but no start, it's never fun. It's never fun. So you ask yourself, what are the three things that a car needs to start? Fuel, spark, and compression. So I proceeded to check on each one of those. First thing, fuel. Was I getting fuel? I can hear the fuel pump priming. Check. Go to the fuel filter, crack it, squirts fuel. Take the fuel filter off. Maybe it's just a clogged fuel filter. It's not clogged. So maybe it's spark. So, pulled out all the plugs. Checked them, make sure they looked good. They looked good. Check the distributor cap. Everything was fine. Had a little tool that you, you plug into the plug and the plug wires to make sure you're getting spark. And we're getting spark. So it's not fuel. And it's not spark. So maybe it's compression. Maybe. So I took the plugs out again. Did a compression check and checked the timing. And no, they were all good. So we still have a crank, but no start. gone over everything I could realizing I do need a tune-up on the car it's been it's been a good couple of years but everything was good and it was a weird intermittent because sometimes it would sit there six seven times I would crank it and it would just crank and crank and crank and crank and crank and crank and then I'd do it again crank and crank about six seven times and then all of a sudden it would start and it would run and when it would run it ran fine, it ran smooth, had no issues running. Shut it off, start it up again, crank, 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 crank. But when I did have it running, I ended up a uh, scan tool onto it, no issues, no codes popped up. So I was just frustrated, couldn't really think about what could it be? Because it ran good while it ran. It just didn't want to start sometimes. Best advice, if you can't figure out what's going on with your car, snacking a nap. So the wife and I went and go picked up lunch and we ate and I relaxed for a while and I, I chilled, I rested. 
came back to the car, crank, 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 crank. So I sat there in the driver's seat, just thinking. That's what most of us do. And then I seen it. Right there. There is a little key emblem. So as I was cranking the car, that key would flash. That tells you it's the immobilizer, the key immobilizer, the key transponder. So to be 100% transparent with you guys, because that's what I want to be. I want to grow this business all under transparency. There's no hiding. YouTubers, we don't know everything. I mean, I don't. We're, we're just, we're in it. We entertain. We know. I've been in the game long enough working on cars that I know enough. I've made a lot of mistakes and I've learned from those mistakes. And I wish I would have caught that the first time around. I wouldn't have spent hours diagnosing, taking things off. But it's one of those things. A, a, a nap and a snack really helped me out. I looked at that. So we all know I installed the push start button from JDI on the Integra. It's looking good right now. It's clean. It's wet. So I installed the push to start JDI kit ran perfectly for what a month or whatever. I go to start the car to move it around and I get nothing. So it's not JDI. The push to start worked fine, but cars with the key immobilizer, you have to do an extra step that's not in the kit. You have to find a way of either bypassing it or tricking the computer into running that. And the way I had it set up, it worked, but now it didn't. So we were having issues. Um, so yeah, it's not the JDI kit, wherever I, I put it at. So it's just kind of set up in there. It is my fault. So the JDI works perfectly fine. No hate on JDI and their push to start buttons. But I had to go back with the lock and key cylinder just to make sure I ran and made, and it starts up every time. It's perfectly fine. So, but I just wanted to be transparent with you. I didn't want you guys thinking that, you know, I had it in this whole time and then one day somebody notices that I'm using a key and they're like, oh, the JDI push button start broke and it didn't. Transparency. It wasn't it. It was my fault. I'm going to have to find a way, contact a few companies that do the um, transponder key kind of bypass or whatever. I'm saving it because I did like it. It was very convenient. It was another step of security on the car. So I may install it later, but as of right now, we're going lock and key. So no, nothing much to it. Um, yeah, so we didn't get a video out. So we got lights we're working on. Uh, I'll show you a quick little sneak peek of what So this right here is my design I had and I've had on the car for three years now. The LED strips that I got was either from Chris at Flyride or Dio Dynamics or Chris from Flyride told me about diode and something like that. The LEDs are awesome. They're a sequential turn signal with a switchback uh, running light. This is the old design. I like it. It works. I just want to kind of update it. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure in this world is my purse. And so this is the newer design. It's I've actually hid the LEDs behind a board instead of in front, like on that one. It's the same uh, sequential LED uh switchback lights as i've been running it's actually the same kit same light i just redid it just to make it a little more cleaner and nicer still working on to it never got to finish because that thing didn't want to start so we will eventually get back to it and do what we got to do onto it um so i'm liking it because these ones on that side with it being like that they're a little dimmer going this way than Norway. It's a more brighter, modern look to it and sleeker. So you have the LEDs behind it with a nice vinyl in front of it. Does, I can't really explain it until I show you, but I mean, that's it. So that's the future for it. That's the future plans for the lights. We're just gonna update them, advance them, all that good stuff. Car's looking really good. 
really clean right now. So we have a lot of plans for the car. Um, we're gonna be working on the wrap shortly after that. Um, soon, probably the beginning of next year, maybe even the end of this year, I'm not sure yet. I'm designing and building a wide body kit for the Integra. Now I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually wanting to go a whole track inspired, like really aggressive look to this car. Um, turbo, of course, with it. And I know a lot of people are gonna be mad at me for messing with the looks of the Integra because, oh, it's so iconic and it's classic. Why, are, uh, excuse me, why are you gonna cut it up? It's my car. I like to build things that kind of piss people off. I don't like to go with the trends and the crowds and things like that. And the Integra is nice. Yes, I like the body lines, but I don't. I just don't think that it's too many people like it. Too many people like this car. I go to meets and little shows, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, it's an Integra!" I don't see them built that clean because a lot of them you'll see. Um, body kits onto a buddy club body kits or just you know the usual with the integra i don't i don't want to do that when i have something that so many people like i kind of want to just push it off a cliff and i'm like that's not cool to me i want something that when people look at it they look at it and they go why like that oh man i don't like i don't like that he ruined it but they spend more time looking at the car and then they appreciate the, the amount of work that went into it and the fabrication that went into it. And they appreciate, you know, my design and, and what I brought unique to this. And it grows on them eventually. But I mean, I like it when I, I pull up at a red light, the person next to me looks at it and they just kind of shake their head. And as of right now, people look at it and I get the thumbs up. I don't know, I don't need, I don't need your thumbs up. I don't need I don't need a stranger to approve what I built. So I am building something that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be different. That's, but I think it's gonna be executed well that it's gonna be liked. That people are gonna have to respect the build. They may not respect the like or like the look of it, but they'll respect the execution and the build. And that's what we're going for here at DBG. I'm, I'm trying to show off the skills and talents that I can bring. So on that note, I'm gonna finish squeegeeing all the windows on this car. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for taking the time out to watch the video. I apologize I didn't get a video out yesterday. Ran into some issues that shouldn't have been an issue. So just remember, a snack and a nap solves a lot of problems. Um, but please hit that subscribe button if you can. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. You know some of the big plans. We still got a few. I'm not keeping secrets, but I'm just not giving all the 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 dish i'm not filling the plate up yet it's a buffet we got a lot to eat so please stay tuned leave a comment leave a like share the video i appreciate you i'm from the bottom of my heart stay gold stay home.